Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited about it. I'm doing my very first giveaway. I have a video um, on my channel. It's my master bedroom makeover that's about to hit 50,000 views. So I'm so in the mood to celebrate. What better way than to give away a dough bowl candle? That's really hard to say. <laughs> anyway, so all the instructions are gonna be listed down below, but it opens up today, September 8th at 2 p.m. Central Time, and it goes through next Friday, the 18th at midnight Central Time. And what I'd like for you to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Oh, with the way that the world is right now, we need some kindness. And so what is something that you would do for someone this fall? Make it fall related, just something kind that you could do for someone. Leave it in the comments down below, and hopefully, other people will read everyone else's suggestions and we can all just, you know, spread a little kindness right now. So I'm super excited. As some of you know, if you follow me over on my Instagram channel, which will be a little bit more up to date on things, um, I have all different kinds of dough bowls, black, white, the natural, we have like the dark, and then today you're gonna see we're gonna make really large container candles. So definitely follow me along over there so you can stay up to date. Those are all gonna be for sale very soon. All right, so bear with me on this video that you're about to see. I'm gonna, just gonna tell you really quick that I was having the worst day ever. <laughs> I should have just left the video without any editing and I put a few of the bloopers in because it was just like, I don't know, I was trying to make this relaxing, large container candle video. I was just making mistakes left and right, and so it should have just been a blooper video. But anyway, so be kind. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. So definitely like the video, definitely comment, and definitely be subscribed so you can enter the contest. Okay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see here, we're just attaching our wicks. We are gonna do two different ones that are five wick and then two of them that are six wick. And so um, that big metal container one, oh my goodness, ended up taking about four pounds of wax by the time we got done. So as you can see, when you make large container candles like that, it does take a lot of product. And so that's why those candles tend to be more expensive. And then this one had really awkward angles. And so I'm trying to keep in mind how I want the wicks to come up to make sure that it burns evenly just because we don't want it to just burn in the middle and not let the sides burn. So we kind of got to put it out on the sides in order for it to burn evenly. And I will state that all my wood bowls are treated with a flame retardant. And so, cause I did get asked a lot of questions in my other dough bowl video about catching on fire, which obviously never leave a candle unattended. And so here I'm just weighing out my wax and then I got this new awesome pot. I'm gonna list it down below. It does such an amazing job for melting wax and it has this awesome little spigot to where I can just pour it right out. And so I absolutely love it. Okay, so we're at the perfect temperature. I have measured out my fragrance for the amount of wax. I have three pounds of wax in here right now, so I'm using a 10% fragrance throw, so I'm doing 4.8 ounces of fragrance. And as you can see here, I love this pot. It makes it so easy. And then my pouring temperature for my wax is 155 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we are at the perfect temperature and we are gonna pour our bowls. And here was my first boo-boo of the day. I left the spigot open and now I have hot melted wax running down my island and all over my floor. Oh my goodness.
Oh, wow. So that was supposed to be a nice relaxing pour. And in my candle making world, this is a terrible pour. So obviously I went way too fast. I created a ton of air bubbles. I spilled it over the side. I was so frustrated. Now, since I made so many air bubbles, I have to go around and pop them and try and clean this candle up before it dries. But never fear, they turned out beautiful. Oh my goodness, so perfect for fall. I'm so excited and I wish so badly you could smell them. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. We'll see you guys in the next video.